Hey, what's up? I'm Ada from DX Daily Podcast, and check this out. So Roddy Rich delivered a message to the New York Police Department at Hot 97 Summer Jam on Sunday, June 12th, just 24 hours after being arrested on weapons possession charges. The Compton Bread rapper was handcuffed on Saturday, June 11th, shortly before he was due to perform at Governor's Ball at New York City Field after authorities discovered a loaded firearm, nine rounds of ammunition, and a large magazine in his vehicle as he attempted to enter the stadium. Roddy and two other men were arrested in charge of criminal possession of a weapon, possession of a large capacity ammo feeding device, and unlawful possession of the aforementioned device. Fortunately for Roddy, he was released from custody on Sunday afternoon and the charges against him have been dropped, according to New York Daily News. Up out of there, right? You got money to get to, man. Despite missing out on Governor's Ball, Roddy Rich returned to the stage in triumphant fashion at MetLife Stadium for Hot 97's annual one-day festival on Sunday evening. During his set, he rallied the crowd as he led a F the NYPD chant before diving into his rock star collaboration with the baby. The MetLife audience was more than happy to oblige. <laughs> Fetty Wap experienced a similar ordeal last October when he was arrested on federal drug charges shortly before his scheduled performance at Rolling Loud, New York at City Field. In 2019, police banned five New York rappers, including the late Pop Smoke, Chef G, Casanova, Don Q, and Tutu G's from performing at the aforementioned festival due to public safety concerns. Of course, the NYPD keeping close tabs on rappers is nothing new. The department set up the infamous Rap Intel Unit, now known as the Enterprise Operations Unit, in 1999, creating files on Jay-Z, 50 Cent, Busta Rhymes, Cameron, and more. This is a continuation of how folks in our community are watched and targeted by the police. Civil rights attorney and activist Kamal Franklin told Complex in 2020, if you don't have actual, real, probable cause to arrest somebody, then you should not be following them. But let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast on all streaming platforms. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to popdx.com.